Hey there everybody and welcome to the season one wrap up of Prop 3D. I want to thank all of you guys for watching our first uh, season of the 3D printing prop making show that we did here. I also especially want to thank Autodesk for helping us put this whole show on. They are awesome. We were just hanging out with them down at uh, Autodesk University. Those guys are amazing. I've been really, really encouraged by you guys uh, seeing some of the work you guys have been doing with the knowledge we've been dropping here on Prop 3D. I'm especially excited to see viewers sending me pictures of the stuff that they've been modeling in 123D Design. You see, our hope for this project uh, not only was to help you guys learn a little bit more about 3D printing, but to get everyone trying their hand at 3D modeling. It has never been a better time to do that. Now, I don't want to act like an old curmudgeon, but back in my day, when I was in school, uh, the tools, the software were very inaccessible uh, unless you worked for someone that could afford it or unless your school footed the bill for the whole array of 3D modeling software. Nowadays, there are applications like 123D Design that are designed for beginners and they're free. There's no excuse left to not give it a try. Especially if you're getting into prop and costume making as a hobby, there's no reason not to give 3D modeling a go because that's a really valuable tool set to have in your belt. So what are you waiting for? If you've been watching this series along with us, then go grab 123D Design. There'll be a link down below and give modeling a try. I've also got links to all of the modeling videos for all of the props that we made for this first season of Prop 3D. So if you wanna learn some basic techniques, go watch those videos, give the modeling a try, and especially show me what you've made. I've seen people sending me pictures and screenshots of the models that they made and even some of the stuff that they've 3D printed. Once you do get the 3D modeling aspect down, uh, you can either go out there and grab yourself a 3D printer. There are a lot of them available in a wide range of prices, as low as the low hundreds of dollars. Or you can go to a website like Shapeways and have them print it for you. Then they'll mail you the printed piece and then you can use some of the techniques you learned on this show to try finishing it yourself. So this is the end of our first season, first five episodes of Prop 3D. Uh, you guys probably you know, wanna know what's next? What are we doing with this show? Well, first I'm gonna take a short break. Doing two full build videos every week is sort of taking its toll. So we're gonna take a quick break and do a little bit of planning to see where we wanna take this show going forward. But it's obvious that you guys wanna see more. For season two, I wanna do something big. I'm thinking like a multi-part single project where we take something bigger, print it in lots of different pieces, finish, mold, and cast all of those pieces and assemble them in a longer, more extensive video season. And of course, I want to start playing with more 3D printing software and hardware and experimenting with what's out there so that you guys can learn as we grow. So there you go. One more time, if you haven't checked them out already, go watch the previous five episodes we did here on Prop 3D. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what you think we should do with this show going forward. If you have any ideas, I want to hear about it. And especially if you've got a project that you've been working on using your new 3D modeling skills, I want to see it. I want to check it out. You can let me know over on Twitter. That's at Chinbeard. Or leave a comment down below on this video. Again, thanks for watching, you guys. And I can't wait to show you what we've got coming up next. We have a whole bunch of prop making videos. We have more coming soon. Of course you want to subscribe. Of course you want to go watch those old videos. And of course I can't wait to see what you guys make. See you guys in the next episode.